Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that Lionel 8142 that arrived today. Dead as a hammer when I took it out of the box, of course. And, of course, it's got lots and lots of oxide damage to the paint. But the locomotive is up and running, and it's running in reverse. It's running forward, and it's also a smoker. Just discovered that. So I've added a few drops of mineral oil to the smoke generator and want to see if it's actually going to smoke. So take this around, let it run for a bit. Let's see what happens. That uh, smoke generator is obviously dry as a bone. And there's a few whis whiffs of smoke coming out of it. Probably see it better if I stop it. So as you see, it is running forward and reverse and it is smoking. Just starting to puff a little smoke now. So anyway, the locomotive is up and running forward and reverse and it's smoking. Nine bucks on eBay and I was the only bidder on this locomotive. Well, it's actually starting to smoke now. I should probably put this on a heavier consist. I can turn up the current that way. But it's definitely smoking, there's no doubt about that. Got the switch sorted out. So it runs forward. Now you can see it smoke. It runs in reverse. This is actually running really well. As you can see. So, it's going to be a fun day today. So I'll get this paint cleaned up. This is actually going to be a really nice locomotive. And so far I've done nothing to it but a few drops of oil, a bit of judicious tweaking, and cleaning the oxide off the moving parts. And it's definitely smoking. Smoke doesn't show up very well on video, but no doubt that locomotive is smoking. Let this go around a couple times. And as you see, it's running really well. And it's definitely smoking. Not smoking great, but it's smoking. Of course, this thing hasn't run in probably 30, 40 years. Hard to say. It's been sitting someplace a very, very long, long time. But as you see, this old $9 locomotive is running just absolutely perfectly. So a Lionel 442. Running forward in reverse and has a working smoke generator. So take it around one more time. Bring it up here and stop it. You can definitely see it smoking when you're changing directions. You see this locomotive is running actually quite well. Okay, let's do this. Let's stop it here. I've got uh, another consist, Lionel consist, right here. This is 16 cars. So get this back on the rail. All right. Let's see what happens pulling 16 Lionel cars. As you see, that's running really well. So, was it worth the nine bucks? You tell me.
and it's definitely smoking. Not smoking perfectly, but it's smoking. So I'll be adding a few drops of oil and running this periodically throughout the day. But it's definitely smoking. Pulling 16 Lionel cars. Absolutely perfectly. Wow. Big puff of smoke there, right in the face. That's one thing about this mineral oil. In an enclosed room, it builds up really quickly. But as you can see, that's actually smoking quite well now. So, it was definitely worth what I paid for. Nine bucks, and I was the only bidder. So that's running just absolutely perfectly. And it's smoking. Really difficult to beat that for nine dollars. So I figured if nothing else, I could use it for parts. You never know with water damage. And uh, of course, that's why I was the only bidder on this locomotive, is because it looked absolutely dreadful. It still does. But a few minutes work, I can get this paint touched up. Already solved the uh, majority of the problem. Smokers working, motors running forward and reverse. And as you see, that locomotive is actually running quite well. Right now pulling 16 Lionel cars. Nothing wrong with that at all. And it's actually smoking much better. So the more this runs, the better it will run, of course. So this is going to be a lot of fun to run this locomotive today. I'll add some more oil to the smoker. Pump is working. Smoke generator is working. E-unit's working. Running forward and reverse with no problem at all. As you see. And of course, it's smoking. Really difficult to beat that for $9. Anyway, I just want to do a quick follow-up video. As I always stress, don't overlook the junk. Nobody else wanted this thing because it looked absolutely dreadful. But as you can see, a few minutes work. This thing's only been here an hour. And it's running just absolutely perfectly, and it's smoking. And like I said, the more it runs, the better it will run. So I'll be running this the rest of the day. I'm gonna to touch up that paint next, and this is actually gonna be a really decent looking locomotive that runs just absolutely perfectly and costs $9. So again, I gotta say it, don't overlook the jump. A Lionel 442 die cast smoker running forward and reverse just absolutely perfectly. Even has a connection for a uh, powered tender. Anyway, I just want to do a quick follow-up video on this. I'll uh, probably do a video after I get the paint touched up. So, just doing a uh, quick test of that smoker. Locomotive's up and running. Nine bucks. Don't overlook the junk. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben'sTrains at gmail.com And as always, thank you for watching.